so it's March 30th, uh, Good Friday. There's still tons and tons of snow in uh, the bush. We had a couple of late March snowstorms and we've still got a good uh, foot, foot and a half of snow. I'm just out today. It's uh, not the best weather. It's a little wet and misty, but I'm trying to harvest some uh, Usnia to ship off to a friend of mine in BC. I'll keep some for myself for uh, tea and I'm looking for some birch polypores which make a really good uh, tinder. Uh, horseshoe fungus is another name for it. So I'm just going to keep uh, tromping through the bush here and see what I can find. Chevy. All right, so we found our first. This is basically birch polypore horseshoe fungus. It's got a number of different names. It's going to crack that off. Once that um, dries up and the moisture is gone, it's going to make a fantastic uh, tinder. So I'll keep this in the pouch, move on, see if we can find a couple more and uh, start harvesting some usnea. And here's the usnea, old man's beard. Uh, once the moisture's dried out of this, I I've said it in other videos before, makes a great fire tinder, makes a really healthy tea. It's got a number of uh, antibacterial properties as well. So I'll put this in the haversack, keep going and see what else we can find. Just to give you an idea of how much snow is left, that's well over knee deep. Uh, I really should have brought my my snowshoes. I thought there'd be some snow but uh, not this much left after a week of, of rain and plus tem temperatures. So there's a good indication. Tons of snow. Let's look at the size of this birch. All the way up. What a beauty. Tons of nice bark here. Just peels right off. Look at that. Awesome. Just uh, common sense, but I've seen people do it before. Walking around in the bush, make sure your axe is sheathed. I, uh, I'll share a story. Last year, probably around this time, I was uh, doing what I'm doing now walking through the woods in the snow no snowshoes um, I didn't anticipate there to be as much snow and as much ice I was walking with my axe unsheathed I hit a uh, patch of ice and my legs just went right under me the first reaction I had was to throw the axe uh, out in front so I don't end up falling and slicing something open but if I had been with uh, someone else in my party one of my kids or anyone else and uh, that exact same thing happened <clears throat> and when you fall your first reaction is to let go of anything in your hand it could have went really really bad I, I could have hit someone with the axe um, never mind being solo in the woods and uh, cutting yourself with an axe, that would have been <laughs> quite bad as well. So needless to say, I'm a, I'm a smarter bushcrafter now. I do things uh, wisely. I don't unsheath my axe until I'm actually using the axe. And then I go ahead and uh, put it back in the sheath when I'm done so I don't uh, lose a limb. Next we got a uh, long since abandoned Hunter's blind. I don't see any evidence this year that anyone's been here. 
no buckets, no ladder, and I can tell you no one is hiking a ladder into the bush. The, my truck's really far away, but that's kind of cool. A little uh, hunter, hunter's blind of yesteryears. All right, and this is the bounty. Birch bark, Usnia, old man's beard. I found a second uh, birch polypore. <laughs> They're not that easy to find, but I do have two of them that I'll be able to take home and uh, dry out and it'll make really, really good tinder once it's dry. And that's pretty much it. I did bring with me a bottle of Jagermeister. Just going to have a shot in the bush and uh, head home. Spend a uh, good Friday with the uh, with the family. Cheers.